Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. Researchers at Cornell University and robotics fans on the internet have trained a PR2 robot to autonomously make coffee based on objects the robot recognizes in a database of images. The robot was able to figure out the corresponding action needed to perform for each object it observed, even though it had never seen an espresso machine before in its life. The robot barista was able to identify a lever on an espresso machine based on an image of a urinal handle it had in its database previously and figured out the correct movement coordinates to grasp and activate that handle on the espresso machine. If you are interested in helping the robot learn more tasks, you can sign up to be part of the Robo Barista Project at Cornell's website and read more about the Robo Brain Project on the Crave blog post. Professional chorus singer Aaron Johnson, who also happens to be an affiliate faculty member at the Bioimaging Science and Technology Group at the Beckman Institute in Illinois, jumped into a new super fast MRI machine capable of capturing video at 100 frames per second and sang the song, If I Only Had a Brain. My thoughts were busy hatching if I only had a brain. Johnson and many scientists are interested in how the muscles in our face work together in concert to produce the sounds humans make. Johnson also expressed an interest in learning how our vocal cords change over time as we age and how those changes affect the quality of our voice. Oh, I could tell you why the ocean near the shore. The Avengers Age of Ultron is coming out next week, and in honor of the film's release, fanboy and evil genius maker Patrick Kreeb has created a working Iron Man power glove that can do some serious damage. In this video, he devastates some balloons and burns some wooden pieces with a high-powered laser, and it looks awesome and scary. This isn't Patrick's first walk in the park with the laser stuff, however. A few years ago, Crave reported on the Iron Man laser gauntlet that he produced and showed off on his YouTube channel called Laser Gadgets, where you can check out more of his laser creations. Hanson Robotics recently showed off their newest humanoid robot, Han, at the Global Sources Electronics Fair in Hong Kong. Han is capable of making multiple facial expressions that are created using 40 small motors underneath the skin on his face, which is made of a material called frubber, which is short for flesh rubber, which was patented by the robotics maker. Han is equipped with facial recognition software, so he will always look you in the eyes while speaking and react accordingly to facial expressions you might make during your awkward conversation. Hanson Robotics plans on commercializing its robotic systems using another humanoid robot named Eva, which might be employed for educational purposes, aged care, or even medical training applications. Alright guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Brave and Lux portable Bluetooth speaker. This Bluetooth speaker has a built-in power bank for charging your devices. Go to the blog and enter to win.